The Caribbean Chicken Convenience Store on the Western Highway was the target for thieves as they plotted an armed robbery yesterday afternoon. What makes the story more frightening is that only a hundred yards away is the Red Creek Mennonite School. And whilst the students were on their regular afternoon break, they saw the incident unfold. Principal and pastor of the Red Creek Mennonite School, Ben Stolfos, says it was nothing short of a nightmare in the middle of the day. Well, yesterday I was uh, substituting for the high school teacher since he was, uh, he just had a baby, Mr. Leonard. And uh, we were over there playing volleyball. We just went over with the uh, students and uh, we were there maybe a couple minutes and saw a couple masked men go into the shop there, the store. So I went over right away to see if it really was a hold up or not. And I got there and came to the door. One man came to, at me with a knife. So I went back and I went over to the house and called the police and went right back again. But by then they were gone. They were only in there about an hour, I mean, uh, maybe one and three quarter minutes. Weren't in long at all. Okay. Did they tell him anything? Well, I, as soon as I met him, he, he hollered at the other man to hurry up when, I, when he saw me, but I didn't talk with him. But he had, he had the other man in the shop there. He was holding him at gunpoint, to, demanding money. That apparent lust for cash pushed the mass robbers to commit the brazen assault. Even though dozens of elementary school children on the playground saw them enter the store, parents of the children were alerted of the incident when they came to pick up their child after school. The frightened children relive the events they witnessed to their parents. One of those parents is Nancy Marin, whose three children attend the Red Creek Mennonite School. Marin is grateful that no one got hurt, but is very concerned that her perpetrators have no regard for innocent lives. And the fact that these guys will be so bold as to come in during school hours while the children are out playing volleyball is, is of high concern as a parent and as a citizen. My eldest, Zina, she said that when she heard the, the, the um, high schoolers call for, for Mr. Ben, that they, everybody ran out behind their teacher, though the teacher asked them to stay inside. Um, I think all the teachers were very careful to tell the students to stay inside. Um, but they did run out, and they, what they saw was they saw when the guys um, ran out and ran into the, into the orchard. But um, just, you know, children will be alarmed, if they, especially if they see guns and everything. Um, I think what was my biggest concern, as, aside from, from the children um, being hurt, was the reaction of some of the students that um, started, um, they, they pictured the whole scene and they started telling us how they would have done the robbery better. You know, and, and that was more of an alarm to me because these are our young children planning out how they would do a better robbery um, for the robbers. And, and I don't know what the problem is, the television or the problem they're listening to the news and seeing how all this are happening. While the students were scared, today they were afraid to come to school. After seizing an undisclosed amount of cash from the cashier Arlen Lapp, the thieves took off from where they entered through the orange orchard and made good their escape. By the time the authorities came by, they took statements from the victims but were unsuccessful at identifying the culprits as they were cleverly disguised from head to toe. Surveillance cameras in the store captured the entire incident which took less than two minutes but their identity remained unknown. No one was hurt during the predicament. Reporting for Love News from Red Creek Village, I am Maria Novello.